Hello there, my name is Sheridan Coldstream and today I want to challenge you to write a song. So let's get right to it. Hi there, my name is Sheridan and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time. This channel is devoted to helping people feel better about themselves and today is the first video in a series of videos called Let's Get Creative and today is about how to write a song. Today I want to talk about four simple steps to writing a song and I'm going to cover the first three. First things first though, why on earth would you want to write a song? Well here is my answer. It's one of the most fulfilling and satisfying things you will ever do. And it also taps into the right hand creative part of our brain where we feel the most creative and the most excited about life. It's a very cathartic process. I'm going to deal with three of four steps today and deal with the fourth step, which is a slightly separate subject, music, in another video. But here goes. The first step to writing a song is to have an idea. It's one of the biggest reasons people don't write a song. They think, oh, I don't know what I write about. Or they think, oh, I can't do the music. So let me show you how you can form an idea. This is point number one. Have you seen a film recently or read a book or read an article or seen an episode of EastEnders or anything on Netflix? Something that you've really loved or that's really inspired you? Because I would say that's a very good starting point. And what that starting point will do is then trigger other ideas. So suppose you've seen a, a romance uh, on Netflix about a relationship that goes wrong. Then that's it. There, there's, there's my idea for a song. Now, the next thing to do with that basic idea is to strip it back to an emotional plot. So by that, I mean remove dates, times and places away so that the song isn't too specific. Then you're left with a bare bones and an emotional plot. Now, one reason for doing that is it makes it easier for you to free flow when coming up with ideas. But also, it makes the song ultimately have more universal appeal. In other words, it'll resonate with more people and ultimately probably more with you too. Because if it can be interpreted in different ways rather than exactly the way that was initially the trigger for the song, then you've got a much broader appeal for your song. So get the emotional plot. That's the first step. The second step is develop your idea. How do we do this? Well, my favourite and probably the easiest way of doing this is to do what's called mind map it. So get a piece of paper, draw a circle in the middle, whatever your emotional plot, your kind of header might be. Uh, so I think mine will be love, love will find a way. I'm going to write, okay, love will find a way. And that's my starting point. And ultimately, probably the chorus of my song. And what the chorus in a song does is it needs to celebrate or encapsulate the entire sentiment of your songs. So whatever your story is, whatever song you're writing about, the chorus needs to capture the overall sentiment of that song. Now, having drawn that, that circle in the middle of your mind map, you then want to draw a few legs off it, three or four maybe, and off each of these legs draw a smaller circle like a spider. And in each of these circles, write something that's maybe linked to the idea uh, of love, that love can find a way or whatever your subject might be. So, for example, I might, might write uh, feeling lonely, feeling lost, uh, looking for someone. That might be one circle. Another leg uh, might be uh, then I found someone uh, and there was a spark of hope. That's another one. Uh, third one might be uh, things go wrong, uh, we, we had a breakup, that might be my third circle. Uh, fourth circle uh, are fantastic because things came back together and uh, everything looks wonderful and we're going to have a wonderful time. So that, back to my middle, love can find a way. Okay, so I've already got a very loose idea for this rather bizarre idea of mine, okay? So feeling lonely, feeling lost, uh, then I meet someone, everything feels fantastic. Love will find a way, isn't that wonderful? Or then everything starts to go wrong again. Oh my, oh my word. Um, then it all comes back together and it's all going to be fantastic. After all, love will find a way. And I've already got my loose structure there. Now, in terms of verses and choruses, one rule of songwriting, right, is that there are no rules. So whatever rules, whatever formula you choose to use, you can break that as much as you like or not have a formula and just free flow. However, I think quite a lot of us, especially when we're getting started with something like songwriting, like to have something we can hang on to, some kind of formula or structure. So let me give me one that I've used several times. 
And actually, if you listen to many, many songs, most of them follow this exact formula. So let's have verse one, verse two, a chorus, verse three, a chorus, uh, and then a bridge, which is where it all goes different, and then a final two choruses before we come to the end of our song. So what might these be? So verse one might be, I'm feeling lost, I'm feeling lonely, uh, there's something missing in my life, I, I wish that would change. That's verse one. Verse two, then I met this girl, everything felt transformed, I felt complete again, and love began to feel fantastic. Then it's my chorus, which if it's love can find a way, you can use words like love can find a way, whatever it is, you can use your, your basic sentiment of your whole song. You can be repetitive. You can use words like love. It's not like writing Shakespeare. You can be uh, fairly simplistic uh, with lyrics. I think it, the danger sometimes is we can get too flowery and try and write poetry, which is not the same thing. You're not writing poetry, you're not writing a novel, you're writing song lyrics. So keep it simple and don't worry if it feels a bit cheesy. So you've got your love can find a way thing, which is your chorus. It might even repeat the same line two or three times. And then you've got verse three. Now verse three, so what's happened so far? Feeling lonely was verse one. Verse two was meeting someone and life felt transformed. Uh, then it was the chorus, love can find a way. Then it's verse three where things started to go wrong and then we had a breakup and everything felt rubbish for a bit. Oh my word. And then it's the chorus again. So verse three, only one verse there. And then a second chorus, love can find a way. Okay. And then we get to the bridge. Sometimes musicians call this the middle eight because in musical terms, it's often eight bars long. And what the bridge does, it's the light bulb moment. It's where things change, they shift. It's the coming together of what the song's about. It's the kind of, it's, it, it's in some ways the exciting part of the song quite often. And musically, things change in tempo, they change in key. And lyrically, we need to do the same thing. So we felt lonely, we've met someone, we're celebrating at Love Can Find A Way, then it all went horribly wrong. And then it's the bridge. And in the bridge, maybe there's this weird reunion where you, you met up with this, this girl again uh, and everything felt wonderful after all. And just when you thought everything was lost, it all comes back and you have this wonderful blossoming love. There's your bridge, there's your eight bars, which takes you, of course, to your final chorus, which is celebrating once again that love can find a way, forgive my terrible tune, uh, and so on. And you might repeat the chorus and do a second chorus. So there you've got, in a nutshell, you've got one is find the idea, two is develop that idea, three is form a structure, and four is to add the music. And that is what the next video is going to be all about and how you too can add music to your song just when maybe you thought you couldn't. Well, I hope you found this helpful. It's very different to my other videos. But if you like this channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye for now.